Perhaps you forgot to charge your phone overnight, or maybe your power bank is completely empty, or maybe you just want to use your computer sometime during your trip. Sometimes you'll need to find a power outlet when you're travelling, and the first place I'd recommend while you're here is on the Shinkansen. Yes, when you're riding the bullet train, you can usually charge your phone or plug in a laptop very easily. On older train models, the power outlets are under the windows towards the floor, and you can also find them next to the drop down tables in the very first and last rows of each car. Now, these seats are very popular, so if you absolutely need to ensure that you have access to a power outlet, then it's a good idea to reserve a seat in advance next to the windows or in those first and last rows. But on newer Shinkansen models, power outlets are at the end of your armrests and they're in every single seat, both in non reserved and reserved cars. If you're travelling on a limited express train, it's a little bit less common to have access to an outlet, so don't be shocked if you don't find one. The notable exceptions are on the Narita Express between Tokyo and Narita Airport, where every seat has an outlet in the armrest. This is also true for seats on the Haruka Limited Express between Kyoto and Kansai Airport. However, this is only for newer models of the train at the moment. It's impossible to go through every Limited Express service and tell you whether they have power outlets or not, but if they do have them, they're going to be in one specific location, and that is in the first and last rows of the car. Now, before we get done with the trains, there's one last spot where you can easily score a power outlet, and that is in the station waiting rooms. As the Shinkansen is used a lot by businessmen, you can usually find a work area with outlets in the waiting room. Outside of the Shinkansen stations, conventional line waiting rooms often have these airport style charging trees, but generally, you can only find these in major cities. If you found this video helpful so far, give that like button down there a good whack. And if you want to see more videos to help you with traveling in Japan in the future, that subscribe button down there is calling for you. When you're out and about in cities, you may want to sit down and have a drink while you recharge your batteries. So what are the best places for getting some apple juice? Starbucks, I think, is an awful choice because in my experience, it's very hit and miss if they have outlets available. And to make matters worse, you can't even find the information on store pages on their website. The Starbucks competitor that I like, Tully's, is slightly better, but you might want to check ahead in advance if you absolutely need to ensure they have power outlets. Although it's possible to check stores on their website, you will need to use Auto Translate on the page if you can't read Japanese. The links are in the description. Possibly the best choice here for cafes that will likely have outlets available is the chain Dotor. And again, a link to the map is in the description. And this one is actually super simple to use. If you're looking for a place to get something to eat as well as give your phone an energy burst, I think one of your best bets is what we call in Japan a family restaurant. These have a mixture of Japanese, Italian, and American style food. They're usually pretty cheap and they usually offer unlimited refills on drinks, but only the soft kind, not the hard liquor, unfortunately. Family restaurants are great if you want to chill out for a couple of hours, and often they have outlets too, making it a good option if you need to use a computer. The chain called Gusto has restaurants all across Japan, and every one I've checked on the map has the icon for power outlets. Denny's is also a good option for finding an outlet, but they don't have quite as many restaurants as Gusto does. I put links in the description for the store locator maps. For any restaurants or cafes that I haven't mentioned, you can often find if they have outlets available simply by checking the photos and reviews on Google Maps. If you want to search in the reviews to see if outlets are mentioned, you probably should do so with the Japanese word. The Japanese word for outlet is consent, and I put it down there in the description if you want to copy and paste it into the Google Maps app. Okay, for the last place to find power outlets, you can probably use it for no extra charge, but it's probably good manners to buy something small before you do. I'm talking about convenience stores and more specifically the eat in areas. Now, at many stores, there's often a corner with a few chairs and tables, as well as power outlets for you to use. At some of the bigger stores, you can find even a whole floor being used as the eat in area. 
The best thing about convenience stores is that they're absolutely everywhere in Japan, meaning it's very easy to find one even in the countryside. A couple of years back I was stuck in the countryside waiting for a train for about two hours and lo and behold I found a convenience store right next to the station and yes it had a power outlet in the eat-in area and that really saved my life because my phone was very low on battery that day. Now if all these tips have given you a surge of energy to start planning your trip in Japan you may want to start with this playlist. See ya!